God bless America. Hello, everybody. I am the Talk Radio Protégé, and this is the Protégé program. I'm not feeling 100% today, so <clears throat> I hope that you might uh, excuse the occasional cough that might come through. But uh, nevertheless, there is news to cover, and we're going to cover it. Uh, so recently, Democrat Senator Al Franken uh, has been accused of sexual impropriety by a uh, radio uh, hostess from out in California. Uh, Leanne tweeted, apparently this incident occurred on a USO tour um, back in 2006, where uh, Leanne tweeted had a, let's call it an unfortunate encounter with the then comedian Al Franken. Uh, let us go get some of the details from this incident. So, apparently Franken was writing uh, scripts for his acts while he was in, uh, while he was abroad on this USO tour, and in one of the scripts he had written that uh, he was going to kiss... Uh, Wow, I feel awful not remembering this name. <laughs> uh, Miss Tweedin. And uh, he began pestering her, saying that they needed to rehearse this kiss, and she just kind of laughed it off, saying, ah, we don't have to rehearse this. This is nothing. This is a joke. There's no reason to rehearse. But uh, he continues to pester her. She agrees to rehearse the lines uh, leading up to the kiss, and then, uh, apparently, the kiss was unpleasant, <laughs> to put it lightly. Um, it, at least, uh, that's the way I read it, is it was, uh, at, at, the, at the bare minimum, unpleasant. So, um, apparently, the uh, much worse, in my opinion, incident happens on the way back uh, to L.A., from Afghanistan. Uh, Miss Tweeden falls asleep in the plane and then sees this photo later on. And as you can see, it looks like Al Franken is grabbing uh, Miss Tweeden's breasts while she's sleeping, obviously without her consent. He's looking at the camera. He's got that kind of a smirk. Uh, that you might see of someone who's uh, getting away with something they know they shouldn't be doing. And that is the incident. Uh, Miss Tweeden continues on. Uh, I, I believe that this entire uh, column was aired on the radio station that she uh, hosts. Uh, probably this McIntyre in the morning show in Los Angeles. Uh, she had apparently spoken to California Congresswoman Jackie Spe Spear, Spear? Uh, whatever, and had heard the Congresswoman tell a story that sounded very similar to the one that she underwent with Al Franken. And she decided that she needed to go ahead and tell that story uh, with the forcible kiss, with the... Uh, you know, with the groping while she was asleep. And uh, she says, you know, I needed to tell this story because there are others, there, there could be others that might need to be reminded to uh, tell their stories. Now, interestingly, she says, uh, not just because 2017 is not 2006, or because I am much more secure in my career now than I was then, and not because I'm still angry. I'm telling my story because there may be others. And this has been uh, something of a sticking point with me as, as we continue to hear about these uh, allegations of sexual misconduct from all kinds of people. You know, it, it started out with a movie producer whose name you wouldn't know unless you were a cinemaphile who really, really enjoyed following all those kind of finer details. And then it became, you know, actors, some A-list actors who, some of whom are household names, uh, 
I just saw today on Drudge Report, Sylvester Stallone, uh, an actor who I grew up watching uh, some of his videos, or some of his movies, rather, has been accused of sexual impropriety with a uh, with a teenage girl. It's been the sticking point to me that um, many of these accusers, uh, particularly the actresses, sat on their sexual abuse until you know, until number one it became cool or you know safe to tell your story about how you were sexually assaulted by Mr. Weinstein. And uh, this happened to coincide with you having much more money, much more influence, much more power as a successful actress. And it seems to be a similar story here with uh, Miss Tweeden. And in this event occurred allegedly in 2006. Uh, Al Franken has reportedly confessed and apologized, admitted to this incident, so there's no real reason for me to say allegedly anymore. Um, but, uh, you know, th th this happens in 2006 when Miss Tweeden is not a successful person who's not very secure in her career and who didn't want to uh, rock the boat, as she says uh, higher up in this story if I can very quickly I'd like to find that for you uh, da -da 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 -da. it must it, I, I know I read it here it is at the time I didn't want to cause trouble we were in the middle of a war zone it was the first show of the holiday tour I was a professional I could take care of myself so she apparently decided back then that it wasn't a big enough deal that she needed to tell the story. Uh, it wasn't a big enough deal that she needed to uh, rock the boat and perhaps cause problems for herself. Uh, as she, In her own words, she's a professional. She can take care of herself. And, you know, excuse me if I read that as this, is, this doesn't bother me. Uh, you know, it's not a big deal, but now it's a big deal. You know, now, now that it's cool, uh, we've had a Twitter hashtag trend with uh, the sexual allegation things. We've had uh, more and more and more people coming forward. We almost have a culture of uh, allegations of sexual assault at this point. It <laughs> ironically coinciding with. Uh, you know, revelations that many people who um, are left leftward leaning in their politics haven't been uh, accused of sexual impropriety. I'll point out uh, that there there's nobody come out that's accused Tim Allen of any sexual impropriety. Nobody has accused um, Tom Selleck of any sexual impropriety or uh, Owen Benjamin or... Um, Dean Cain, uh, just to name a few uh, conservative entertainers that I know of. You know, the, these are all accusations being leveled against uh, leftists in Hollywood. Um, the only real accusations that have had any credence thus far and are uh, and potentially are damaging for Republicans or right wing people in, in, in public life is to judge Roy Moore. And those, uh, those allegations are still unfolding. You know, um, it, it, it occurs to me just now thinking about this, um, why so many, why such a high number of allegations are required, uh, for something like this to uh, get attention. Now, obviously, if the if a person is a serial abuser of sexual boundaries of you know their targets, 
then there are going to be a lot of allegations to level. But all it should take is one true allegation of sexual impropriety to uh, dislodge, uh, to derail a person who purports himself to be a family values person from their candidacy. And it it just makes you think, you know, Herman Cain had several, uh, had a few, I say several, I don't remember the exact number, uh, women accuse him of sexual impropriety. Uh, Clarence Thomas had just the one, it's almost like that was the trial run uh, to see how many women making allegations it was going to take before a Republican could be forced out of whatever office they're being considered for. Um, and 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 now then we had a uh, President Trump uh, as a candidate had a number, uh, I believe, over a dozen accusations of sexual impropriety on his part, and now we have Roy Moore. I'm planning on doing another video on that because uh, more details are emerging. But you know he he has a small number, and they appeared to be credible for a time. Uh, they were credible enough that Ben Shapiro said he needed to bow out of the race. And when Ben Shapiro is is saying you need to get out of the race, then it's looking really bad for you. He's a very smart individual, someone whose opinion I respect. Um, but yeah, things continue to unfold and I don't care, personally, how bad things get for any single Republican. The Democrats are far and above outweighed in this, uh, in this regard. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. I'm planning on having another one up uh, later this evening, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, maybe subscribe and hit the bell for notifications so that you don't miss another video. Uh, if you didn't like this video, leave a comment. I'll be happy to uh, discuss uh, whatever your objections are. Thank you again so much for watching. Until next time, God bless.